Hey Erstelings. Hey everybody. Today we're gonna expose the most common and uncommon spiritual tribes that we notice in people and communities and society. And sometimes in ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why we think it's important to talk about this is because we are very fast moving towards unity consciousness mm -hmm. in this time. And the ego does everything in hold its power back. to yeah. hold us. Yeah. So whatever progress you make, the ego kind of hijacks that. Mm -hmm. Make a story, make a self-identity from it and kind of make it who you are. Kind of like your new, your new spiritual clothes or identity that you have and that you represent to the world. And many of us run through those unconscious programming unaware of their effect on us. So today we're going to share about it and we really encourage you to reflect is this something in you is this something that you see in somebody that close to you you maybe draw your attention to it or help them see it so you can help them heal and move forward in yes. their healing journey so we're just going to share one ego trap in this video and we have another seven that yeah. we're going to share later or on even more maybe even more if we come <laughs> up with more <laughs> and the reason why it's so difficult to notice these ego traps is because it's built around us believing that we are awakened yeah. or that we found some answer, that we are somehow evolved and then the ego attaches to that yeah. personal evolution or that, you know, whatever it is that we, we discovered or experienced. Yeah, so without further ado, let's go to the first one. The first one is kind of the most obvious one <laughs> and it's the dogmatic one. The person who believes that their way is the only way. Yeah. They have tried everything, they tested everything, and this is the only thing that works. And they is have it found works the best way. And as it works for them, it must work for everybody, and it's the only way for everybody. Yes, yeah, so this might be a person who has actually really had amazing epiphanies and you know realizations mm -hmm. for example meditating eight hours a day yeah. following zen buddhism mm -hmm. for example that actually happened to me in my beginning of my spiritual journey where i was initiated in an amazing school i still have so much love and respect for that path but what happened since i had this deep profound healing experience and connection to the guru at that time i felt this is the only way it can't be other way there's so much love there's so much wisdom and it's true but because I was so much in it, I couldn't see that there is other ways until mm -hmm. very late point where I discovered that it's mm -hmm. not the full answer. It, it has some f something that doesn't fit me anymore. And there was the time where I kind of like cracked open and opened my mind to see other possibility and other healing modality that helped me so much. I see this a lot in the, in the yoga gurus virtual community. It's very common in that community that we believe that our guru or our teacher is the best and everybody should follow. <laughs> and then we start reaching about it. And by the way, this yeah. also might happen with specific healing modalities. Yeah. That somebody might think that, you know, uh, a specific way of shadow work is yeah. the only way, like this is the best way ever. And if someone isn't into that, they are like less ahead in their journey. Yeah, we saw this recently in the Teal Swan community where many people do the completion process and they get like amazing result of it. And as a this result, they become like only completion process. Yeah. And like what actually end up teaching. limiting themselves. Yeah. But the truth is that each person comes from a unique place, completely mm. different place than any other person, which means that their path is going to be completely unique. Mm -hmm. And it could involve zero Buddhist meditation yeah. and a lot of embodiment and dance and movement. Yeah. Or it could be a path through understanding relationships. Yeah. And the more we actually awaken and the more we get to know ourselves and we heal our trauma, the more unique we are. So at some point when we all are in a high level of awakening, there will be not a single person similar to another. It would yeah. be like so much individuality and so many different paths also. Yeah, and I actually believe that, you know, the best we can do to w for our own expansion is actually to open up for anything and everything to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. To not be like, oh, I'm only following this one thing or two things, mm -hmm. but rather to begin to see every person as a potential teacher, every event in your life, every situation. Life itself is constantly teaching you Mm -hmm. through things that happen in your life. So if you can begin to live from that place, you're no longer, you're not limiting yourself anymore to anything. Mm -hmm. You're open to anything to teach you. Yeah. And by the way, talking about healing modalities, next Friday on the full moon, I'm hosting a wild woman active meditation for all those beautiful women 
Not out for there any men <laughs> but you really should join like i i have to say it like it's so amazing it's such an empowering process yeah. of really embodying our wild primitive energies it's an energy that we are usually taught mm. to suppress in society behind this mask of being pretty and good but if we are only that then we are only half of a woman or maybe like 10 of a woman so in order to really you know manifest your fullest dreams and your embody your goddess you really want to embody this energy so please sign up in the link below yeah i would really recommend it and i would have joined if i would be a woman <laughs> <laughs> maybe in your next life so that was the first uh, ego trap and there is at least six more coming in the next episode so this is going to be a series so if you want to see them all please subscribe and click the notification button so you get notified when we post the next one And if you find this video helpful, share it and see you in the next one. Yes. And uh, be honest with yourself if you think you are falling into this trap or if you mm. see someone around you that is falling into this, this trap, you might want to show them this video with all your love. <laughs> <laughs>